Okay, I thought we'd get a couple of flights on our D our GFS DIY F22 Micro. It is a sub 250 gram high performance park jet. I haven't flown it in a while, but in total, I've got somewhere around 300 flights on it. Sun is low in the sky, so I am going to try and put it at my back. Fly in this little park jet and see if we can get a couple of flights in before the sun goes all the way down. Alright, let's launch it. Throttle back. Throttle back. Keep it this side of me. <laughs> this thing is just super cool. Very, very maneuverable. Out for the truck. Whee! Stay out of the sun. <laughs> you can really play close proximity with this one. Oh yeah, like I said, it's high performance. And it's way under 250 grams. I'm trying to remember. I think it's about 135. 135 to 140 grams. So way, way under the 250 gram. FAA limit. Sail the sun, sail the sun. I really buzzes around and I'm flying at about 50 to 60 percent throttle. <laughs> Pretty stable for a little micro. Especially for the weight. Wee! Wee! Isn't that pretty stable? I say as I crash it into the ground. Wee! <laughs> Hope I'm tracking this okay. It is very maneuverable. You could fly this in a small space. You don't have to fly it fast. You can fly it slow. It has very good slow flight capability. That was close. Look at that. Is that awesome or is that awesome? Whee! Oh, don't hit the ground, Tony. Don't hit the ground. See, I told you. I told you I'd put it in the ground. Almost, almost put it in the ground. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I hope I got that on camera. That was almost over my head. Whee! 
know, we're through where well, I'm starting to get my haptic now. I am starting to get my haptic. So we are way through our battery pack here. Let's see. It will move out, will it not? I don't want to get too far away. All this cloud cover, I'll lose orientation. Whee! Okay. Timer elapsed. Um, let's check our, check our traffic. We're clear that way. And stay above the sun here. There we go. And we're clear that way. Okay. Before we get too far away, let's bring it in and land it. Cha-ching! I love this little park jet. Okay, let's... That sun is really descending quickly, so let's... Let's... As long as the motor isn't jammed up with dirt and sand, um, let's put another battery pack in it before I lose my light. This thing is so awesome. I will have uh, links to the plans in the show notes. I will have links to the setup file in the show notes. I will have links to the OpenTX model file in the show notes and links to the components that I use. Um, as you can see, it has plenty of power. It has an extremely wide fly envelope. It is extremely maneuverable and what's not to like and it's well below 250 grams like i said i think i think with the battery i'm flying it's 135 to 140 grams so awesome all right i'll see you in a minute okay are we ready to get our gfs diy f22 micro sub 250 gram high performance part jet that is a mouthful is it not <sighs> but i have to say all those things otherwise i get punished if i don't are you ready all right, let's see if we get in the air again. Launching. Takes right off, doesn't it? Let's throttle back a little bit. This thing is so fun just to fly. Fly around slowly. I uh, don't lose track of it. Don't go into the sun. I have to keep warning myself of that. I keep forgetting where it is. But, can you fly this in a small space, or can you fly this in a small space? I mean, come on, look at this. This is close proximity, guys. Very close proximity. Yeah, look at that, whoa. <laughs> that is so sweet. Whee! I've got my camera on right. Look at that. Ah, uh, was a sharp turn, was it not? And it didn't stall. Okay, are we ready? Rocket ship. Oh, it's a little rocket ship when you want it to be. Too far away. Come back. Ooh, it's getting really dark skies over there. Oh, look at that. I almost put it in the dirt again. I was looking at the clouds instead of looking at the plane. That's not good. <laughs> I got about 300 flights on it, and... Whee! I want to go for 400, so I don't want to put it in the dirt. And damage it. Hard to believe as much as... As hard as I fly this. Look at that. Um, that I've got 300 flights on it. Don't hit the truck. Please don't hit the truck. Please don't hit the truck. Ah, uh, there we go. Out of the way. Past the truck. Whee! Whee. 
I like flying low to the ground, but sometimes, you know, I, I tend to get a little too low. <laughs> I hope I'm getting this on camera. What do you think of my little micro, way under 250 gram park jet? F-22. I think it's pretty cool. Whee! Skyward. Very maneuverable. Run fast. <laughs> it sure can. Oh, let's not stall it. Uh, that is a pretty. Cool little micro park jet. I'm starting to get my haptic again. I can't believe it. You know, it seems like it seems like I just started this flight. <laughs> I don't know if you guys like close proximity flight. Easy for me to say, but I certainly do. Okay, so let's bring it in for a landing. I'm about at the end of my timer. There we go. Touch. Oh, I hit a rock. I hate it when that happens, but it's kind of unavoidable. See it bounce right over that rock? That's a pretty good sized rock. All right. Anyway, I'm sure I'll have to clear my motor again of dirt and sand, but what an awesome little park jet. You know, I can tell you for a fact that building this from scratch out of Adam's ready board. Putting the electronics in it is a heck of a lot simpler than doing a conversion of an existing brushed plane. So if you want, check it out. All the information, the downloadable material, plans, setup file, OpenTX modify will be in the show notes. So take advantage of it. So take advantage of it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.